What significance does the expression in your article, get a card that counts, have on networking? Jared, the only things you take away from a meeting are memories and business cards. The memories fade fast. Get a business card with your photo. That puts a face to the name when you follow up and list your services on the back of the card. Welcome to Ask the Author series. I'm Jared Newcomb. My guest today is Alan Manley, author of an article in CEO magazine titled How to Get the Most Out of a Networking Event. Alan, welcome. Thank you, Jared. Networking and attending events can be a scary prospect for many people. How do you choose what networking events to attend? You network to get clients. So ruthlessly assess the networking event to ensure your clients are in attendance. The less glamorous sounding industry associations are often where you will find clients looking for suppliers like you. Being busy doesn't mean that you are effective. Alan, in your article you use the term invest in yourself. What do you mean by that? Invest time and money in yourself. Look professional and sound professional. Practice your elevator pitch over and over again until it is natural. When you feel you have it right, develop a list of key points just in case you have to improvise. How important is showing up early when attending networking events? Yes, Jared, an oldie but a goodie. Get there before the crowd. Introduce yourself to the early birds along with the organiser who will be happy to chat to fill in some time. A few questions about who is coming today can give wonderful information about potential clients for you to approach during the event. What do you mean by the term showtime? This is the moment you've been practicing for. Make the most of it. Be professional. Every person is a potential customer. You have one thing in common with everyone in that room. They too want more business. The expression time is money is often used in business. What significance does it have in networking? Time is money, even if it's after hours. Just being at the event is an investment, sunk costs as accountants would say. Now is the time to really work out how to get a return on your investment. Ruthlessly ask yourself, would you pay to talk to this person? The term used in your article, once more with feeling, could you elaborate on what you mean by that? Of course, sometimes you think that you've picked a dud event. You've made the investment, so complete the task and work the room. Don't go home wondering. The last one in the room may be the one that you were looking for. And if no one responds favourably, be thankful. Those doubting faces have given you vital feedback. You will do better next time. Alan, I see you mentioned in your article the words follow up fast. How does that relate to networking? Success and failure are often the difference between the quick and the dead. Once you have their details, the first thing after the event is to follow up. Hit that keyboard and thank them for their time and interest and suggest that you are happy to explain how your product may assist their business. A journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. So does networking. Be bold. Take that step.